Sometimes the risk that the world of crypto comes bearing is scary enough to believe. But every time there's a scam, a sigh of relief comes following right after it. Just how the Discord hacking group has been exposed. And Cloudflare saves crypto platform from a record DDoS invasion. While another hack update says that legend LFW hacked around $219,000 stolen. But in El Salvador, updates are rather delightful. Over 80% of business in El Salvador that accept credit cards now accept Bitcoin as well. So without causing much delay, let's start with our main feed for today. Starting up first, Twitter user Shaq with a drug pull survivor turned 2D detective identified one of the groups involved in multiple Discord scams. Let's find out how he managed to do it. With all of the NFT Discord hacks over the past few months, Zagbit thought it would be beneficial to map out one of the groups doing them. Currently, $3.9 million sits in their main wallet, which are highlighted in over the past weekend. The 333 club Discord was compromised where roughly $370,000 in NFT was stolen. As you can see here, this is heavily linked to previous Discord hack. We have seen similar instances where a link to a phishing site was posted in an announcement channel, hack is message. The group transfers the fund from each Discord hack through multiple wallets into the main wallet. According to Thashbit, this is just one of this few groups, a few different ones are competing against each other. They hack Discord through social engineering and phishing sites. As Discord hacks are increasing nowadays, our listeners should stay alert. Next up, the cybersecurity company Cloudflare mitigates a huge HTTP attack. The attack was first of its kind as was detected automatically by Cloudflare system. Crypto frauds and invasions are a common sight in the market these days. It becomes very hard to mitigate such attacks. However, on April 28, the American internet security company Cloudflare was able to blow off such a threat against a crypto fraud form. The attack could have been massive and was one of its kind. It recorded 15.3 million requests per second of volumetric distributed denial of service. Though this happened early in April, the cybersecurity company revealed this on April 27. The target was a customer of the company who was on the professional, a cryptocurrency launchpad that was tasked to display DeFi projects to future investors. Cloudcare reported that they noticed attack emerged from several data centers around the world. Though it lasted only for a few seconds, it was brought into action from a botnet that has over 6,000 unique bots. This is the biggest attack on HTTPS Cloudflare and was initiated in more than 12 countries. Its major initiation point was in Indonesia, which was followed by Russia, Brazil, India, Colombia and the United States. Some of the major networking includes Telcominet, ASAP, OVH, Azteca, Communications Columbia and Hudson Online GBMH also got involved. The team says that they have seen many encrypted HTTP attacks in the past, but none of them involved such immense resources. After reports were released, there were chances of Cloudflare's customers doubting their safety. To rule out any such speculation, the cybersecurity company has assured that all their users are protected against botnet. Thus, they do not need to take any precautionary measures. The same happened with this attack. Cloudflare already operates software-defined system that functions autonomously. Therefore, this attack was detected automatically and mitigated without any delay. To further explain the matter, the Cloudflare team explains our system starts by sampling traffic asynchronously. It then analyzes the samples and applies litigation when needed. The analysis of the sample is done using data streaming algorithms and if deemed necessary, a mitigation action is compiled and pushed in line. Moving on to our next coverage, PeckShield has detected the legend LFW project is hacked with a current loss of $219,000. PeckShield has detected a known bug with the wrong key invariant in swap routine. They have advised everyone to remove their liquidity from LFW LPs. This project has seen a sudden price drop of more than 38%. Hackers have already transferred 540 BNB around $219,000 into Tornado Cash. Although the legend LFW team has not made any official announcements on Twitter, but they have posted an official announcement on their Telegram channel. 
the team has told that they are aware of the gae liquidity pool has a technical issue and they have started immediate reactions to this for their convenience of uh, gae holders an alternative liquidity has been added on pancake swap as crypto hacks are increasing nowadays our listeners should stay alert and now winding up with our final coverage for today according to a study conducted by the national bureau of economic research months after bitcoin became legal tender in el salvador 20% of businesses have begun to accept bitcoin as a payment method the study which polled 1800 el salvadoran households aimed to measure btc acceptance in the country following the enactment of the bitcoin law according to the study bitcoin is gaining traction in comparison to traditional payment methods users who have downloaded the government backed shibo wallet have decreased their use of cash by 10% while their net use of debit cards have decreased by 11% according to the report a brief of businesses in al salvador from bin latin hub aside from that because al salvador's bitcoin law requires economic agents to accept bitcoin the study has also polled survey participants who identified as business owners and employees familiar with the company payment methods within this group 20% said the company or place of work accepts bitcoin while only 25% accept credit and debit cards furthermore 11.4% of enterprises have positive bitcoin sales according to the reports the researchers also discovered that 71% of bitcoin sales are turned into dollars and then withdrawn furthermore 70% of sales are converted into dollars and saved in the shivo wallet meanwhile 13% of users kept their btc within the shivo app meanwhile bitcoin has recently become legal tender in the central african republic as a result residents of the country are legally permitted to use btc in the same way that they use country's franc aside from that the african country established a regulatory framework for cryptocurrency use so we will round off our analysis for today and see you all tomorrow with even more exciting content in the meantime if you have any recommendations or opinions you can let us know in the comment section below you can also join our telegram channel for free crypto alerts for instructions reviews and tutorials you may visit our blog which is linked right below also do subscribe to the channel to receive daily crypto market updates thanks for watching and have a wonderful day ahead